What if the Obi-Wan Kenobi series isn't real? This may sound absolutely insane considering that it is canon and is still airing right now, but hear me out. At the end of Revenge of the Sith, Yoda gave Obi-Wan an assignment. He told him that he had training for him on how to communicate with Qui-Gon Jinn and become immortal. Now in the first episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi in the recap, we hear that line uttered again since it is so significant. That is our first clue. I think that the whole Obi-Wan Kenobi show is all a vision or a dream. Now, if you remember back in the Clone Wars season six, when Yoda did his training, he saw a lot of things, including his worst fears. Now, although Darth Sidious had some play in that, he still saw many, many things. He saw sifo alive. He saw the Jedi Order being destroyed. He saw who the Sith Lord really was that they had been finding. Now, I think that, that whole, the whole Obi-Wan show is kind of like this. He's deep in meditation, still on Tatooine, but he's imagining the whole thing. His worst fears have come true. Anakin is alive. Leia is kidnapped. And Obi-Wan, he's discovered to be alive and hiding on Tatooine. Now, this would answer a lot of unanswered questions at this point. Why does Leia not remember Obi-Wan in A New Hope? How can the Grand Inquisitor actually be dead if he's in Star Wars Rebels? How did Vader beat Obi-Wan in a fight, yet in A New Hope, Obi-Wan say that he won that fight? I think that either in the next episode, or more likely the final one, Obi-Wan will wake up from his dream, still on Tatooine, and he's going to realize that Anakin is alive. Now, I think he might possibly go try to find him and turn him to the light side again. There's going to be an amazing rematch between Obi-Wan and Vader, and it will be the most epic one that has been teased. Now, this would make a whole lot of sense if the whole show is a vision, and I really hope it's what they're going to do.